Now it's time to level up our designs. Today we're going to look at Shape Builder tool. Shape Builder tool is the most interesting tool in your Illustrator. Through Shape Builder, you can create your logos effectively and easily. Let's take a Twitter logo. Before applying our Shape Builder tool on our Twitter logo, first we need to know the concept of Shape Builder tool. If you have two circles, three circles, maybe two circles, let's swipe the colors and I have another circle as well and I'm going to select both of them. Then I am going to select my Shape Builder tool. Through Shape Builder tool, I can merge these two circles as well and I can subtract some parts of the circles from the other parts as well. If I over on the first part of my circle, you can see there is a plus icon. Click and drag. You can see both shapes got added. And if I click on this section, you can see this section is totally separated. If I select all of it and go to my shape builder tool, click and drag and move through all parts of my shapes, then it will be a single object now. This is the first concept of my Shape Builder tool, not just my Shape Builder tool, all Shape Builder tools. Next thing is, if you hold Alt on your keyboard and click, just click. If you don't drag, it doesn't matter. Then it will deduct that point of the shape from my other shapes. And if I want to delete the other part of my shape, I can simply hold Alt and click and drag. That section will be deleted. And if I click hold, just click in the middle of the design or shape which is intersect of these two circles then that section will be deleted and the two sides will be remained simply if i select these two only those two will be deleted and the center will be remained so this is the basic concept of my shape builder tool now what can we do with shape builder tool for example take another circle take a copy bring it here Increase the size a bit, take another copy, increase the size more, take another copy and decrease the size. Till here, let me take a line, change its location till this point. Select all of it, go to your shape builder tool, or maybe let's change the fill to stroke, stroke to black. And fill should be none. Select all of it. Go and select your shape builder tool. Now I can create a cloud. The cloud logo if you have seen with your Adobe Creative Cloud or other softwares which are included in cloud. The logo of cloud is almost like this. And we can also do, for example, if I go and create a circle. Increase the stroke. Take a copy. And take another copy. Select all of them. Go to your object. Expand them. Now select your shape builder tool. Hold Alt to delete these outside circles or half circles of your design. Now let's merge, I think, this line, um, this line, and this line. Now let's change its color to gradient. Select gradient, go to your white color, change the white to this is how you can create your basic logos with the help of Shape Builder tool. Now what else can we do? People who are creating logos, who are logo designers, they usually use Shape Builder tool. How? Now if you guys look at this Twitter logo, this logo is created by circles. Take one circle, change it to strokes, the basic color and change it to black so it's more visible
Okay, the first section, I'll take another copy. So far, it looks too messy, but by the time you guys select all the circles. Now let's go to your shape builder tool, hold R, then delete all the overlapping parts of your circles. And now release the ALT key of your keyboard and then merge all the inner side of your circles to create a single shape. And this is how our Twitter logo is created. Now we can see how effective Shape Builder tool is. Through Shape Builder tool, you can just draw some lines, circles, rectangles, triangles to make or to create the outlines of your logo or designs or the shape, whatever it is. Through Shape Builder tool, get the overlapping points and merge the uh, connected points or the points which are inside your shape. Your logo will be created. You can play with it, you can create your own designs, your own logos, your uh, own animal logos. This is a bird logo, you can create a tiger logo, you can create a logo from the deer. So there are a lot of other references through which you can practice your shape builder tool and you can work with that.